One of the the best pieces of advice that I ever received and something that I want to share with all of your listeners is uh, you need to find what it is that you love, you know, what you're truly passionate about. You need to find what it is that you're pretty good at, where your natural talents lie. And then you need to find where those two things intersect. And that point of intersection will be your strength zone. And the more time you can spend in your strength zone, uh, certainly the more successful you'll be, the higher your performance will be, uh, but the happier and more fulfilled you'll be as well. And the reason I bring that up is um, in everything I've ever done, basketball has been a spoke on that wheel. And even now at present, uh, as, as technically a keynote speaker and author, basketball is, is still a part of that. And uh, you know, growing up, uh, I was a fairly decent youth and high school player, uh, was able to play at Elon, uh, it was Elon College at the time. It's now Elon University down in uh, Burlington, North Carolina. And I knew upon graduating uh, that I wasn't going to be able to play basketball any further, but I still wanted to be attached to the game. Uh, so I started to develop an equal affinity for strength, conditioning, fitness, and performance training. And I decided to be a basketball specific strength and conditioning coach. And I did that for just over 15 years uh, before I made this pivot to what I'm doing now. And, and while a good portion of what I do now is serving corporate audiences, uh, I still make an effort uh, to speak to teams and athletes and coaches and schools, because uh, because certainly that's a big portion of my heart and a big portion of my past. Um, mm -hmm. But basketball is the common denominator and the red thread that links all of these different things together. And uh, that's why, you know, I, I'm, I'm as happy and as successful as I've ever been right now at present day because I've been able to find ways to, to navigate through that and stay in that strength zone. If you, if you wanted to put me in a box and you wanted me to identify with one specific vocation, I consider myself a coach. I mean, by definition, I'm a keynote speaker and an author, um, but for the most part, I'm a coach. Yeah. Uh, and that has kind of been my, that's something that I've always been pretty good at and filling other people's buckets and helping other people achieve their goals and dreams has always been a major passion of mine. So while I did choose to do that in the very specific basketball space uh, for a long time, uh, I'm doing the same thing now in the corporate space. Speaking is what I do. It's not who I am. At my yeah. core, I am a coach. At my core, I'm someone that wants to serve others and help them get where they want to go. Speaking yeah. is just the way that I do that. You know, writing books is just the way uh, that I express that. But at my core, that's who I am. And and the sooner someone can find who they are at their core and figure out a way to build a life around that, the better off you'll be.